I, I, I think naturally when you have a you know a, a team like Michigan coming in, as much tradition as they have, I mean, you're excited about playing. I don't like the way we started the game today. Kind of simple as that, especially on the defensive side of the football. We knew we were a little bit shorthanded uh, on the offensive uh, side of the ball with uh, Brandon being down. But uh, don't like the way we didn't play them. You know, of course, we let them run the ball too much for us. We have protected the football pretty good. Those, uh, I'm just going to jump a little bit further ahead. Those two t turnovers late hurt us. Block punt hurt us. But we, we got it together some kind of way uh, in the third quarter. You're down 28 points and you 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 get the game to a three-point game in the second half. That's saying an awful lot. Proud of how the team played then. We got to finish. We got to figure out a way to, to finish game. It's good play play well at times, but we need to be able to uh, do that more consistently. We do have some injuries. Don't know. Can't give you any updates on anyone uh, right now, except for hopefully we'll get some of those guys back. Take your question. What we did. Down 28 nothing. did that feel like a, a gut check for your team? Oh, I think it absolutely was a gut check. We had to decide what we wanted to do. And we chose to fight, fight harder, I should say. And uh, that's why, I mean, it's always tough when you lose a, a, a ball game. But if you just look at that moment and to be able to, do, to play that type of football throughout the 60 minutes, then we're going to have something. Coach, in the third quarter, the defense was a lot different than what was in the first half. What was the difference? I, you know, I guess, it, you know, I probably should say we changed up the scheme and started doing a whole lot of things differently. We did not. We did some of the same things we did the first half, maybe even less. And uh, you know, when, you, when a team is running it at you like that, it's pretty simple on what you do. Everybody has a gap. You got to stay in your gap. Get off the block and make a tackle. We didn't do that in the first half. It's kind of simple as that. They didn't have to pass the ball an awful lot. That's what, you know, win was a factor early on. But uh, that's all that happened in the second half is uh, we played, we did what we are supposed to do. I'll say that. Well, we assess uh, Isaiah Williams' uh, performance today. Oh, I think he was along with, uh, you know, we wanted to get him involved, get him some uh, valuable reps. Uh, we were able to get him a few. But, uh, you know, and the reason why he didn't play more, too, he had an injury. Again, he got reps this week. He's a young football player that's going to play better next week than he did then. Levy, were you if that's the case, we're going to play. Levy, were you encouraged by Matt Robinson, especially in the second half? As we talk about being down 28-0, I mean, and, I mean, you know that they're going to pin their ears back and come. There was a lot that Matt, I thought, was poised, composed, and made plays when he needed to. Of course, Josh Bebe seemed like whenever we go to him, probably need to go to him more. Uh, it's a tough matchup for a defensive back, and he made plays. I think he had over 100 yards receiving. But uh, yes, Matt did some good things today for his first start. Brandon, concussion protocol for Brandon. So next week we just don't know yet exactly where you are. Yeah, he didn't make it this week. Yeah, I mean, you saw him on the sideline. He's doing pretty good right now. We're hopeful he'll be ready to go next week. Of course, a game like this, you can imagine how bad he wanted to play. But uh, we'll never take chances. Well, it's a it's a loss, but having that kind of spark, do you think that can lead to this team believing in itself a little bit? I think it has to. There's disappointment in the locker room, and when you lose, it's, it's disappointing. But it is how, and the things we talked about right now, you have to look for positives where we are right now. And uh, you know, we're, we're six games into the season, so we're at the half, and there's disappointment, but a lot more football to go. Just like we talk, we're talking right now about how we changed it up in that third quarter. That's what I think we can do with our football season too. And um, we'll get you up another really good opponent coming in. We played a top <coughs> 20 team today at times really well. We get an even better football team coming in here this week, homecoming and all the things that comes up with it. We'll show up. Coach, how much does can the defense take away from your second half against next week against the Blue Devils, Wisconsin team? I think you can continue to talk about what we can do and what we need to do, but you have to kind of go on what we've done and what we're able to do during that period of time. Um, it can happen. The one thing we have done a 
pretty decent job throughout is take the ball away. See how big takeaways are. Gave us a little bit of a spark there. We had other opportunities. Game like that, I mean, that could easily be the difference. They ran away from, they pulled away from us late based on us turning the ball over. That's a big part, that's a big part of football, of course. Did, did you see Matt Robinson they kind of get in the flow as the game wore on? Did he look more comfortable with the Big Ten than the Big uh, I, I think absolutely. I think that's natural. That's normal. Uh, you know, your first start. Sure. Uh, it's pretty big. I know he was really excited about it, but normally that's the case. After a while, you forget that, and then you just start playing football and start trying to make plays, and that's what he was doing. Lovey, early on, are you seeing your defense waiting for somebody else to make a play instead of being aggressive? Oh, I, I think they were trying to be aggressive early on. I need to see what it is, you know, what happened. Don't know exactly what it is, but I, I would say most of the time, I, I, we talked an awful lot about missing tackles, and. Uh, and it's normally about getting off blocks, missing tackles. I don't know if that has to do with, you know, how you're feeling. I know a guy was pumped up and ready to go. With Chase Brown rolling so so late here, Lovey, how, how do you kind of handle that moving forward? Well, it is late. I guess late, rather late, later than never. Uh, but um, we've had a chance to see what who he is. You know, he's been going against the one defense on the look squad, you know, all of the year. He's gonna be a heck of a football player for us. You know, we try to get him on a few special teams today. We'll see, I mean, how we work him into the rotation. Does Chase getting that waiver may bring back some frustration that Luke wasn't uh, able to? That's a long time ago. Sometimes they say yes, sometimes they say no. Eventually Luke will play for us. Let me know if you're curious about Steven the Dominic Stanford. What did you see out of him? I thought he made some plays. Uh, Don Navarro too. I mean, when you're when one guy goes down, you know, other guys should be waiting for an opportunity to play. And I think that's what we saw out there today. Uh, Don made some plays. He's a good football player. He can be that. Stanley Green made another fumble, forced fumble, and that's kind of his deal, right? He's it is his deal, especially when he lowers the target, which we're really working on. But uh, Stanley Green is an aggressive player, tough football player, loves the contact part of football. He needed that on a day like today. Coach, we've seen this team play good in sprints throughout games, but what's it going to take for them to put together a full game where they can finish? I think games? I think we need to get to that point where it happens now. But um, I, again, when you're down 28 to zero and you come back, that has to say something about really who you are. And I think the guys are feeling that. I'm under the belief that we're going to take that that effort that we had right then and start the game against Wisconsin that way this week. When you were in the locker room coming out of the second half, was it you as the coach that motivated the players in the second half or was it the kids themselves? I, I think coaching has a little bit to do and I hope we had a little bit to do with it, but this situation right there, it's kind of gut check, pride. There's a lot of things at stake that kind of motivate you to play better. And maybe just, hey, I know I can play better. I should have played better. I'm glad I get a, a second half to prove that I'm a better football player than I did the first. I think everybody involved uh, during that period of time did a heck of a job. <clears throat> took defense doing their job, took offense, special team. Everyone was clicking and doing what they're supposed to do in order for that to happen. Of course, Coach Smith's a big part of that. Well, you have the 64 rushing yards today. You mentioned earlier it was pretty good running team. What do you guys need to do to get back on track? Uh, rush the ball better. I don't know exactly what to say on that. You get down 28 to zero, you can't lean on the run as much as you would like. You have to find ways best you can to just try to move the football. And that's what we were able to do. 10 penalties for 95 yards. It seems like a lot of those came out on, on your offensive line. What can you do to shore that? That's line? not something we've done a lot of. We've been pretty good with penalties. So uh, I'm going to say, you know, guys trying to block, sometimes you grab a little bit more than you need to. Uh, that's not something we haven't been that. That hasn't been something that we've had to deal with an awful lot. I'm going to say it's a one-time thing, and we'll get it cleaned up next week. I mean, do you feel like playing two quarterbacks in the first half may have led to some of the reasons the offense didn't quite get on track? No, I can't say that. I mean, you're trying to move the ball. You normally play another guy when you feel like you need to jump start something. So that was the reason behind that. Part of the plan was to get Isaiah some reps anyway. Do you think Matt Robinson having a, a week to prepare uh, for Michigan helped him establish more of a rhythm today? Absolutely. I think when you get a chance to you know that you're playing number one as a backup, not a backup, I mean, he's been in that role, ran in and practice all week. So Matt knew that it was his time. 
he prepared that way, that way. He normally prepares well, but I think it's different when you're preparing uh, as a backup, knowing that as opposed to when you know that you're going to get the rep. So, kind of how that. I just don't think it was that kind of game, though, where, you know, when they were passing, a lot of it was, uh, you know, run pass situations. It was more about for the defensive line of staying in a gap, winning those battles for the run today. And that's what we need to lock in. You lock into that, get teams in a passing situation, a lot of those things will happen then. Thank you.